Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. The total orders received by ASML in the first quarter were only 3.61 billion euros, far lower than market expectations of 5.1 billion euros and two-thirds less than the 9.19 billion euros in fiscal 2023. ASML stock fell sharply on the news, falling as much as 11% at one point. Is it true that no one buys ASML's lithography technology? With fewer orders, no one will buy lithography machines. This can also be seen from the data. The number of new lithography machines has been reduced from 113 to 66, a decrease of 47 units. The number of old lithography machines has been reduced from 11 to 4, a decrease of 7 units. Faced with such data, ASML has to admit that there are indeed some problems in the supply of some mainstream lithography machines. ASML has a range of lithography technologies, including G-Line, I-Line, KRF, RF, RFI and extreme ultraviolet lithography. Mainstream lithography technologies include immersion deep ultraviolet lithography, RFI lithography, 1980DI, 2000I and 2050I. The resolution of 1980DI, 1980DI, is above 38 nanometers. In theory, 7 nanometer chips can be produced through multiple exposures. However, the process is complex, the cost is high, and the yield rate is low. Therefore, few manufacturers use it to produce 7 nanometer chips. Usually 14 nanometers and above. The 2000i and 2050i can be used to make 7 nanometers chips, and if some yield is sacrificed, they can also be used to make 5 nanometers chips. The biggest customers of these three lithography machine companies are still Chinese companies. After all, TSMC, Samsung, Intel, and SK Hynix all have EUV lithography machines. As Chinese companies are actively expanding production capacity and opening new production lines, they are unable to purchase EUV lithography machines and have to purchase immersion deep ultraviolet lithography machines in large quantities. According to statistics, mainland China's imports of lithography equipment from the Netherlands reached 1.1 billion US dollars in December 2023 alone, an increase of 10 times compared with the same period last year. In January 2024, Dutch restrictions on lithography equipment came into effect immediately, and Chinese companies received fewer lithography equipment from ASML. This directly led to ASML's first quarter profit decline. In addition, the global economic recession has not been effectively alleviated before 2024, and the demand for power equipment has declined, which has greatly reduced the demand for lithography equipment from wafer manufacturers. Although ASML is the largest company in the Netherlands and the most valuable technology company in the European market, it is also the only company in the world with EUV lithography machines. If you want to produce chips below 7 nanometers, you have to get it from ASML. Buy a photolithography machine. Despite this, ASML has expressed its desire to leave the Netherlands. ASML wants to exit the Netherlands. In March 2024, media reported that ASML, the global lithography giant, planned to transfer its business from the Netherlands to other countries or expand abroad. The Dutch government took immediate action and Prime Minister Mark Rutte personally formed a Beethoven project working group to prevent ASML from leaving. In return, the Dutch government invested 2.5 billion euros, approximately 1,950 rupees crore, in Eindhoven to improve the company's infrastructure. Although ASML is now a hot potato in the chip industry, many wafer factories are lining up to buy lithography machines from ASML and make a lot of money. Wilders, known as the Dutch Trump, won the Dutch election on November 22, 2023. After Wilders, who is anti-immigration, anti-EU and anti-Islam, comes to power, he will focus on stopping immigration.
ASML employs approximately 23,000 employees in the Netherlands, 40% of which are foreign employees, who are ASML's main labor resource. When ASML cannot retain talents, decline is inevitable. This is the main reason why ASML wants to leave the Netherlands. While other countries are using equity incentives and tax incentives to attract overseas talent, the Dutch government is doing the opposite, much to the dismay of companies and their employees. So ASML decided to move its headquarters to the Netherlands, but the Dutch government will definitely not agree. They invested 2 billion euros to improve infrastructure in the Eindhoven area and gave ASML preferential treatment, including bank tax, stock buyback tax and foreigner tax. The Dutch government has obviously made adequate preparations and considering the losses, time-consuming and many uncertainties caused by the relocation, ASML is likely to remain in the Netherlands. Can ASML return to the Chinese market? It can be said that ASML has a favorable impression of the Chinese market. China is the world's largest chip consumer market, but the supply of chips in the mainland exceeds demand and it relies heavily on imports, with annual imports reaching more than 300 billion US dollars. In response to the wafer shortage, mainland Chinese wafer manufacturers have expanded production capacity. SMIC has invested 150 billion US dollars and plans to establish four new wafer fabs in Beijing, Shanghai, Shenzhen and Tianjin, with a production capacity of up to 350,000 pieces. Huahong Group invested 47 billion yuan to build a new 12-inch silicon wafer production line in Wuxi, with a monthly production capacity of 83,000 wafers. Jinghai Heavy Industries has invested 21 billion yuan in a new 12-inch silicon wafer production line in Hefei, which is currently under construction. These functions include power analog, high-voltage drivers, microprocessors, mixed signal, radio frequency, image sensors and more. In addition, in China, electric vehicles are developing in full swing, but 90% of the chips used are imported and 10% are domestically produced. Then, there is no doubt that chips that replace domestically produced cars will soon appear, because this requires the establishment of factories, production lines, and a large number of photolithography equipment. If 2008 to 2013 was a period of neglect for the Chinese chip industry, then the 10 years from 2014 to now are the 10 years of rapid development of Chinese chips and the rise of Chinese chips. If ASML can seize the boom of Chinese chips, lithography orders will come like a snowflake, but the fact is that ASML will find it difficult to achieve greater development under geopolitical pressure. On the surface, ASML is just a Dutch company, but at its core, it has American capital flowing through it. When ASML began to get involved in extreme ultraviolet lithography technology, it signed an agreement with the United States giving priority to building factories in the country and purchasing 50% of American components. Extreme Ultraviolet Lithography Technology is named after the first EUV company composed of three major U.S. national laboratories, Intel, Texas Instruments, and other leading companies. In addition, ASML's top three shareholders are all American capitalists, who control a large amount of funds and have important influence on ASML's management. It can be said that ASML is subordinate to the United States in terms of technology, components and funds, so even if it is transferred from the Netherlands to other European countries, it cannot say no. However, ASML did not stop there. Instead, it threatened to go global and put pressure on the Dutch government. It is still difficult to judge how effective it will be. Not using atomic bombs and not using atomic bombs are two completely different concepts. If you have atomic bombs, no one will dare to bully you. The reason why I don't use atomic bombs is because I love peace. Therefore, in China's chip industry, the independent research and development of lithography machines cannot be stopped. Only by mastering the core technology 
can we get rid of the situation of being controlled by others, and others will supply you and give you discounts.